If you catch yourself procrastinating yet again on a business task, I get you. I am currently procrastinating, but instead of letting the day go to waste, I've decided to record this podcast episode instead. Hi, I'm Shika. I used to be a counsellor and now I create done-for-you life coaching workshops and workbooks which you can use with your coaching clients. Today, as you can guess, I'm going to share some strategies which can help you to overcome procrastination and be more productive as a business owner. One surefire way to overcome procrastination is to do what I call the 10-minute rule. You basically tell yourself that you are going to work on a particular task for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you are going to check in with yourself and find out if you still want to continue with this task or stop. There is a very, very high chance that you will want to continue with this task after 10 minutes. And that is because your mind and body are already in quote-unquote work mode. So that's why continuing with, continuing with this task feels easier and more manageable. And also psychologically, once you've started something and you're in the groove of it all, you will want to continue because it feels good to be productive and moving towards your goals or completing your to-do list. Another way to handle procrastination as a business owner is to go with the flow. If you have planned to write one chapter of your book today, for example, and you feel a mental block about it, it's all right to change plans quickly. And if you feel the inspiration to record a podcast episode today instead of writing your book like you planned, you can do it. It is sometimes better to be productive in one area of your business instead of forcing yourself to stick to your plans when your heart and your mind are not in it. You may not finish writing a chapter today as you planned, but at least you have published a podcast episode. So as business owners, it can be very rewarding to work with our flow. When we are working with our flow, our projects will get done very fast and we will feel more energized. I also like to be practical and suggest that we don't procrastinate or put off important projects for far too long. If you notice that you have been procrastinating for weeks to write a chapter of your book, for example, you may need to do an honest reflection with yourself. This honest reflection exercise can help to tackle your procrastination by pinpointing exactly what is causing it. When we procrastinate, we are usually trying to avoid something. And it can be something like a negative emotion, including stress, overwhelm, fear, or other, other kinds of negative emotions. And the first thing we can do is to be honest with ourselves and ask why we are procrastinating on a particular task. So as an example right now, I am supposed to create a new done-for-you vision board masterclass which coaches can conduct with their clients. I was planning to write about 10 slides today, but I obviously I did not do it. And as I was reflecting with myself, I know that I am procrastinating today to avoid feelings of extreme stress. For me personally, creating done-for-you masterclasses is very, very stressful. That's because I need to do in-depth research, I need to apply my counselling knowledge, I need to write a lot, and I need to make sure that the content I create is of high quality and I want to give my best. So this whole process can be very stressful for me. For you, you can also do the same reflecting exercise to find out why you are avoiding a certain task. And once you find out the reason you are procrastinating something, you can strategize a way for you to do that. To that particular task with less stress. Maybe you can outsource that task to someone else or maybe you can change your work environment, work in a cafe to make the task less unpleasant. You can also choose to let go of perfectionism if perfectionism is causing you to procrastinate on something. Being aware of the reasons for our procrastination as a business owner can be a very, very powerful thing. One habit I've been doing recently to overcome or handle procrastination is to so-called design my dream week. So every week or rather every Sunday, I will sit down and write down the things that I want to do the following week, which will make the week as pleasant and as productive as possible. 
I literally uh, designed my dream week in words. So you can choose to write or type the activities out. I just use sim- a simple Google Doc to so-called design my dream week every Sunday. For work-life balance purposes, I will usually type five work-related tasks which I want to accomplish the following week and also three leisure and fun self-care activities I want to do in the week as well. Work-life, bo- uh, work-life balance is extremely important for us business owners, so let's remember to plan our fun self-care activities every week as well. If you are a coach and you want to launch and overcome procrastination masterclass for your clients, but you are too busy to create a masterclass from scratch, you can get my done for you procrastination masterclass. You can get 80 slides already done for you with high value content. You can also, you will also get an accompanying workbook and also a script which is done for you so that your masterclass goes smoothly. So the links for these are in my description box. And thank you for joining me here today and I'll see you in my next episode. Bye.